So just before this video starts, I want to say I'm sorry for the lighting because it's probably going to change throughout the video and you won't be able to see me, but we're going to have to work with it anyway. So a couple of days ago, I saw Disney post this line. So that inspired me to make my very own Hidden Mickey cake. So I took my camera cut out there, but I have basically put the butter and the sugar in the bowl and mix them together. And it is now looking pretty fluffy and pretty pale, so I think that is good to go. So the next step is to add all the eggs in one at a time and beating them together well as you add them. Okay, so now I need to add in a little bit of the flour and then mix and then keep doing that until all the flour and the cocoa powder has been added. Okay, so I've finished adding the cocoa powder and the flour and I've put the um, cake mixture into the tin with some greaseful paper on it. So I'm going to bake this for 30 minutes at the 160 degrees temperature and then I'm going to bake it for another 45 minutes at a lower temperature of 145 degrees. So let's go! Okay, so it's an hour later now and the cake has come out of the oven and it looks pretty good I think. And I've taken the top off it just to level out a bit. This bit's part, this bit's like fallen off. I've taken the top off just to level it off a little bit. And I've got a knife here so we need to cut it into little square pieces and then take a Mickey cutter through it. So let's try and cut it into like really small pieces. I get many cuts that kind of. I think the light is a bit better now because the sun's gone away, so it's a bit gorgeous. Okay, so I need to take my piece of cake and my Mickey cutter. And I simply just need to press it down to reveal. A nice Mickey shaped cake. Woof, woof, woof. How nice is that? Okay, so if we leave that there and we just do the rest of them now. A few of them came out pretty weirdly shaped, but they should be fine once they're in the cake tin. So I just need to put these to the side now and we need to get on making the outer layer of cake. Okay, so what I've got here are the exact same ingredients that I had for the first layer of cake, which is over there, but instead of cocoa powder, I've got vanilla essence. And you should really have like a teaspoon of this, but I've lost my measuring spoons. So I'm just going to put a dash in and hope for the best. <laughs> if it goes wrong, hey ho. I'm going to put everything that I did in the same order that I did before. And then I'll catch up with you guys once it's ready to go in the tin. Okay, so the mixture is now up to a normal mixture. Exactly the same as before, just it's vanilla instead of chocolate. So I've measured the Mickeys in the tin and they only go halfway, which is kind of a problem but we can deal with it because if I only put greaseful paper up until from there to there so if I only put the greaseful paper from like where the mickey's to finish to like the end then it'll only do half of it so it'll be fine so let's pour the mixture in and see what happens oh dear it's fallen, it's fallen oh. Oh dear. Ah! Oh, my God. oh no. I didn't think that was going to happen. Wait. 
How is this going to go on the bottom of the cake? Oops. I didn't really think this was through. Literally, that farting made it look so easy. I would like to clarify now, this is not easy. To stop it from falling over, I am literally going to stuff this side with greasy paper in the hope that it will stop it coming over, like falling over. I think that's going to have to do, guys. I was hoping this was going to be like some really cool video, like, you know, you chop into it and it's going to be like a Mickey inside, but I think this might be a fail. I'm gonna go wash my hands, it's absolutely disgusting. Let's go put this in the oven and wish it luck because I can see the Mickey's falling over. Okay, so it's a lot later now and I've got my cake out the oven. Um, I put some glaze icing over the top and I've just added some little sprinkles. So I haven't really seen what's on the inside. I've had to cut the edges off. I can see a little bit of brown to the left. So I'm going to cut into it for the first time now. And I'm kind of like, I'm hoping it's going to be like a Mickey. That actually looks like a Mickey. Oh, that is really cool. That actually looks like a Mickey. That is impressive. If you guys enjoyed this video, you can click on the end slate in the next bit to subscribe and see my last video, which was me playing Agario. All my links are here or in the description, and I will see you next week. Bye!